This is the Insta360 X4, and it's the first consumer action camera that shoots 8K. And not only that, it's gonna be the most versatile action camera out there. So let's talk about it. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that Insta360 is a channel sponsor. So this isn't gonna be a review video of the X4, but I'm gonna take you through what's new about this camera and show you what I've been using it for. Pretty much mostly mountain biking. So let's take a look. Let's start with the physical camera. It is very similar to the X3, although it is a little bit bigger, partially to help accommodate for shooting 8K. And well, that's okay with me because the picture quality out of this thing is quite nice. It's also using a bit of a bigger battery. So if you've used the X3 before, you've known these cameras have quite good battery life. It's also still waterproof and all that kind of good stuff, all the regular action camera things you'd expect. And it feels like a premium action camera. It's very solidly built and feels like it can take a beating. New this year are detachable lens covers. You're gonna get two that come with the camera, but you're also gonna have the option to buy a premium anti-reflective set uh, that's gonna be made out of some fancy glass. Basically, if you think you're gonna beat this camera up, or you're gonna maybe rub the sand up against the lenses or anything like that, I'd recommend grabbing some lens covers. I'm generally pretty careful with mine, so I don't bother using them. But yeah, really nice to have that option. Just toss them on if you're gonna be rough, take them off. Yeah, pretty easy, and I think a lot of you are gonna like that. It's also still using the same sort of standard tripod mount at the bottom, which is I think a quarter inch coarse thread. And so the camera's gonna work with all the same accessories that you have, which is very nice. And that's one area where Insta360 really is doing a very good job. The accessories for this camera are just so nicely made and there's basically an accessory for anything you want to do. You've of course got the invisible selfie stick. You've got the bullet time sort of thing you wave around your head for kind of cool, crazy shots. Of course, you've got the chest mount and you've got all sorts of accessories for basically any sort of action sport you want to do, surfing, skiing, anything like that. They've got an accessory for it and they're all very well made. The new accessory that I really like and the one I use the most right now for the X4 is the magnetic mount. Basically, it's a two-piece mount that connects magnetically. Half of it goes onto the X4, the other half goes onto wherever you want to mount it, and they really easily click in together and click out, and that way you can take the camera on and off super easily without readjusting your mount or anything like that. Almost all of my videos, I like to mount the camera on the chin bar of my full face. That way I can film and wherever I look, I can have the camera look. I think it gives an even more immersive feeling to my videos, which is also why I love the ultra wide field of view of these 360 cameras. But let's talk about the spec changes because I think that's why a lot of you are watching this video. So as I mentioned, it does shoot 8K now and it'll shoot 8K at 24, 25 and 30 frames per second, but it'll also do 5.7K up to 60 frames per second now. And you can also do things like the me mode up to 120 frames per second. And yes, so you can get some very high quality video or some very high frame rates out of this camera now that you just can't do with any other camera. Now you might be saying, you know, I don't have an 8K phone or monitor or anything like that. Why would I need to shoot 8K video? Well, the thing about 360 cameras is they're capturing a super wide field of view. And generally you don't want to use that entire field of view. You're going to select sort of that area you want. For me, it's mostly, you know, my bike and the trail ahead of me. And I kind of move that around to kind of help whatever I'm looking at, all that kind of stuff. You watch my videos, you know what I'm talking about. But when you crop in, you're going from 8K down to some lower resolution. Now, the more resolution you start with, the more you have left over. And if you're shooting 8K, you now have a ton more pixels to work with. And so when I crop in now, as you've probably noticed, the video just looks that much crisper. And that's another thing I've really enjoyed about using the 360 camera. There's been quite a few times, and you've probably seen people's videos when they're using a traditional action camera, where it gets bumped and the angle gets pointed down or up, and there'll be some text that comes along the screen that says, sorry, I knocked my camera, I fix it in a bit, while well, it films the ground for a while. But with a 360 camera, even if you knock it, and now the lens is pointing in a different direction, it's turned, it's down, it's whatever, you just fix it in post. You reframe to be exactly where you want it, and yeah footage is still perfectly usable. And of course, along with that, I really enjoy that I can use this camera for YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. I can do one shot and then I can use that same clip for my YouTube video and then Instagram and TikTok. So I can choose a 16 by nine or a nine by 16 aspect ratio. And that's been super handy because every now and then 
I'll do something on my bike that I really only want to do once. And this camera does have another trick up its sleeve. Now, if you were familiar with the X3, you knew that there was also the single lens shooting mode, which just uses either the front lens or the back lens and gives you that traditional action camera look. So even if you have this camera and you know you film in 360 and maybe you don't want that level of stabilization or that field of view, or maybe just the look of the 360 isn't just what you're looking for in your video, you can switch over to single lens mode and it looks exactly like a traditional action camera. So if you're gonna get the X4, you're not only getting a 360 camera, you're also getting a traditional action camera, all in one. And Insta360 has packed a ton into this camera. Now you can do things like control it with gestures or your voice. And that way, if you're doing say motorcycle vlogging, you don't want me to take off your gloves or your helmet or anything like that. You can tell the camera to record by just waving or doing whatever gesture you have set up to tell it to record. And of course, this still has Insta360's great flow state stabilization. So even if the trail is pretty rough, it's gonna be able to smooth it out and you're gonna get a nice usable shot instead of just wild shaking. Insta360 isn't just great at creating cameras, but they're also great at creating software. The desktop app and the iPhone app and Android app all work very well. And now you might be worried about these huge 8K files, you know, two 8K lenses. My phone, how is it gonna be able to handle it? But I don't know what Insta360 has done, but I've been able to edit all the videos I've shot lately right on my phone. I'm not sure exactly how they do it, but yeah, somehow my phone is handling the 8K video and it's also able to export the 4K video and it's just right on my phone and super easy to post to Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And the same goes for the desktop app. Everything is super intuitive. It basically works exactly like you'd expect it to work. It's easy to navigate. You learn very quickly what does what and how to get the shot exactly the way you want it. The one thing I really like that Insta360 has done lately is the new desktop app allows you to not just edit 360 clips, but to put those clips together into a completed video. You can add transitions and text and music. And so now when you get this camera, not only can you film the clip and edit the clip, you can put the clips together and have a finished video all within the Insta360 ecosystem. It's just nice that Insta360 is thinking, what's the best way to capture this clip? How do we get the highest quality clips? How do we edit those clips? How do we edit them into a video? all in one streamlined process. That's something I haven't seen from any other company. It does feel like Insta360 really does listen to consumers. For example, a lot of you ask about these little wind covers. For a long time, a lot of us mountain bike creators were making them. You'd have to buy what was known as a dead cat, probably a big one. We would cut them up, use double-sided tape and cover the mics here so that we wouldn't get too much wind noise. A couple of years ago, Insta360 saw that we were doing that and they just said, well, why don't we just make them for our cameras? And that's what I have here. These little wind covers are actually made by Insta360. They're made for the X4 or the X3 and you can just get them right off the website and they're much easier to put on. It doesn't require any cutting of dead cats and the huge mess that it used to create. This is just so handy and it's nice to see that a company is actually listening to the people who create videos and going, yeah, how can we help? Another accessory I'm excited to use is the GPS remote watch. I'm gonna be using that for the races I have coming up. Basically, you have almost the entire app that I wear on my wrist. You can control the camera, do all the settings. You get a preview of whatever you're looking at. So you make sure you're filming exactly the way you want. Then it also has a GPS. It all records automatically into one file. And then when you go to say the desktop app, you can overlay all your stats. And I think that's gonna be super interesting for the racing I'm about to do, which you'll see very soon. And yeah, I'm excited to see how fast or slow I'm going. And well, I'll let you know. And so, like I said, Insta360 has a ton of accessories. If you do something that you wanna film, they probably have an accessory for it. And if I went through all of them, this video would be hours long. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna encourage you to go check out Insta360 in the link in the description and just take a look. They've got a ton of very premium accessories and I'm sure they've got something great for you. And same goes for the camera. There are still a ton more that this camera can do. You've got time lapses and star lapses and bullet time and all kinds of things that uh, very creative, much more creative people than me are going to love. And again, this video would be hours long, but I'm sure a ton of people are gonna make videos about this camera. So you can either go to Insta360 down the link in the description and uh, read about the new camera, or you can just watch, I'm sure, one of the other thousand videos that are about to come out because this is a very exciting camera and I'm super pumped to use it even more because this is gonna be my go-to for quite a while. 
And if you're actually ready to buy an X4, that link down in the description is also an affiliate link. So if you purchase an X4 or any accessories or any cameras really, it ends up helping me and the channel and it's very much appreciated. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the X4, leave them down in the comments and well, I'll see you guys in the next one.